Well, I've got many, many projects to do, but today I'm going to make a little video, take down a couple of strands of wire. I saw a video of a guy was using poly wire, and he, uh, I left him a comment, and he came back. It sounded like he might be interested in knowing a little bit about my system. I don't use poly wire. I, to me, it just, okay, it's good for its purpose, I guess. People love it. Um, but if you look at poly wire really close, it's a really, really fine wire. That's what makes it flexible. And it's stainless steel, so it's relatively brittle. So if you get a break in poly wire, and you got 200 feet of it, and you got a break in it, you're not going to get a charge on the fence. And I don't know exactly how it works because I'm not, I, I don't use it. But that wire breaks. It'll break before the poly part of the wire breaks. And so you've got a break in the wire and you can't find it. So now, if you was able to find it, you can't just tie a knot in it and make it work. I use hard wire. 17 gauge wire comes on spools, 30 bucks a spool for a quarter mile. And I reuse that wire to some degree. It's after a while, you don't reuse it because you get too many splices in it. But today, I got the lovely camera woman out here with me, and I'm going to have her film with me as I take this apart and make up, take up a couple strands here. Show how I reuse, re spool this wire. And, um, so I can reuse it on another part of the fence. All right. Okay. So the way I do this, I take an empty spool. It's just an electric fence spool. I take an old stake. This is, I don't know, a cardboard stake or something. Um, I take it and run it through the spool like that. And then I make a handle like that. And then I can just spool it like this and roll it up. But our, my starting point is going to be back off the camera a little ways. So, um... What I'll do is we'll, we'll, I'll, when I get back to this corner, we'll pick up me, uh, pulling wire off the fence. Okay. So what I do, I take the used wire on the spool, got my little stake where I can hold it. The bicycle is where I'm trying to spool. Keep a little bit of tension. You don't want a whole lot of tension. A little bit of tension on the spool. As you wound down. You want to keep the strands as long as possible because obviously you don't want a lot of breaks in these strands. But I'll get down here in a minute and I'll cut it off and I'll I'll splice it, show you how I'm splicing it. But this is steel wire and a 17 gauge wire and um, it lends itself to reusability. Not real mobile though. That's the best that's the advantage of poly wire is mobile. Plus, if you use belts, then people can see them better. But this allows me to use reutilize that bit of money that this little wire costs. And I'm using two di different types of posts. I'm using feed posts. And I'm using a uh, rebar post. And I'm not sure where this post came from, but it's not rebar. The rebar I'm using is uh, three eighths. Half off a quarter. But they got insulators for all kinds of posts. I think that was some antenna that you recycled. It might be. But you just want to go even even across the spool. You don't want to bunch it up in the center or nothing like that. You want it to look something like that when you're spooling it up. The camera, the camera person is having technical difficulties over there. Yeah, my limo got stuck in the rocks. Get a better shot of how you're getting that. Not all bunched up. Okay, so we're almost to the point where we need to um, cut this wire. What I'm going to do. 
Well, like I said, you want to try to keep a little bit of tension on the tool. So I get to this point right here, and I just all I do is hold the wire because there's a splice up here. I'm not to save the splice. I'm gonna cut it off right here, with this, right before the splice, like that. Now, because I need another hand, I'll put this down here, and I'll stand on that. I've got to wrap this one around the, around the uh, insulator. I ain't worried about it running away. I don't want that one to run away. But I'll go get this one. Wrap it up like that. Wrap it back around. All it's doing is just holding it. This one. Here. And then holding that one. Go back down here. That's this one. It's got a whole bunch of splices in it. This is a perfect example. You don't want to save all these splices. So, Hang on. I can't see them. I'm losing it. But you don't want to save all these splices. I got one here, one down here, down here. Got all these splices. So. Because Annabelle kept breaking it there. Yeah. Something. Anyway. You just cut those splices off, but what's also important is you don't leave that lane on the ground. You take that off. I got missus standing there, but if I didn't have the missus standing there, let's get my wire here. What I'll do with this, and it really, there's no science to this. There's no right or wrong way to splice this. This is just how I do it. I want it to lay fairly flat, so. It may come apart later down the road. You might have to re-splice it. But this will hold it on the spool. It'll be relatively flat. Alright, so now I've got that. Now when you go to put it back up, then you'll just... I'll fix it a little bit better now. I'll take this piece, of, I'll take this piece right here that she's got in her hand. But what I'll do is I'll back up to where the post is. Any random post will work for me. I'll just wrap it. Now it won't get run over by a lawnmower. Alright, so I put my handle back in here like this. Now, like that. And here we go. Back up the line we go. Same old thing. I want to get to an insulator up here. Taking out the insulator. Keep on going. Okay, so at, at some point you get where you you uh, got a strand that you can't see the end of, it, but it's about twenty feet of uh, a wire. But you don't have it tied to nothing. You don't want to keep tension on your spool, so you hold it down with your foot and you pull it up. From your foot, and you watch for it because it'll come out from under your foot. But that'll keep your wire from being tangled up. And if you do it this way, if you tried to do the wire without the spool like this, it's just going to spire up on you, and it'll tangle up, and you won't be able to save the wire. This way, the wire don't it don't it don't uh, spire up. That's bad. And then when you get when you get down to the end of it, like that, you take all your little gizmos out of your spool, like that. Then you take the last little bit you got, wind it back on your spool. 
find you a convenient hole in the spool stick it through there like that and you have saved yourself a little bit of fence wire all right peace guys hope it helps